In this video, I will be talking about the advanced project management sheet. So managing projects requires you to be able to properly coordinate and follow up individual tasks and milestones with multiple people. So we have created this amazing automated sheet. These are the features. It will help you track milestones and actions. And it will be following up daily with an updation mail to the person responsible for various tasks. Again, the best thing is that that date-wise updation remarks are possible to be included for each and every task and all of this can be done via Google Form. So you do not need to provide the access of the sheet to anyone. And this can also be done via mobile phone. So even people who are in the field can update without needing to be near a laptop. It will also provide a completed task dashboard for delayed task. There is a Gantt chart for planned as well as actual dates. And a weekly report is sent to the boss for any delayed task. So, uh, so you can copy the sheet by clicking on this link here. And when it says you can click make a copy. So this is the copy of the sheet. So let me explain this to you. So let me start with the first tab. This is the this is the projects tab. Now in this tab, you can create the various milestones. You can select the milestone from the drop down, and I'm going to tell you from where this drop down can be modified for your own settings. And then again, you can also select the task from the drop down. So you can also uh, add the task manually or you can select them from the drop down so it's totally your choice i'm going to tell you how to do this we have this column called task id this is an automated column so the task ids are generated automatically a formula is entered into the uh, very first row so don't touch this please and again an update url is created so i'm going to be telling you how this has been done this again is automated, so you don't have to do anything manually on this sheet. What you do need to do is to enter the planned start date and the planned finish date. Okay, so this is what you really need to do. The Again, the status of the task, whether it is completed with a delay, it is completed on time. So any task that is completed uh, on time will be marked as completed. And if it is like, for example, it was supposed to be completed on 1610, but this task was completed on 2010, so it says completed with delay. And this task was supposed to be completed on 2010, but it has not yet been completed. So that is why it is marked as delayed. So this is where you can uh, you can actually enter. And again, for example, uh, in this case, suppose I were to update today is 17th of February, and if I were to enter 18th of February, so it would show active, okay? So this would show active. So the uh, actual start date and actual finish date is not to be entered manually. This will be entered or taken from the person who has been assigned the task through a Google form. Same for the completion percentage. So the person can indicate as to what percentage of the task has been completed. And you see here the remarks. So again, these are the remarks, the latest remarks that have been entered by the owner of the task. Now, whoever is the owner of the task, his email ID can be selected from this dropdown for against each of the tasks. So uh, these are automated columns again. I would request you not to touch these. So uh, this represents this represents the start, the finish, uh, and how many days from start, and how much days for finishing this particular task. So this represents the start date and finish date, actual start, actual finish, the planned days, actual days, and how many days there was a delay in starting the job, and how many days a delay in finishing the job. So all of this is used to create the Gantt chart. So uh, there's nothing really you need to do manually here. Yeah. And as you can see, the formulas are, you won't find the formulas below. The formulas are there entered as an array formula here in the top row. So there is no formulas here, so no need to copy any formulas here. So now let me move on to how you can update these tasks. 
but first some important settings need to be done so let me first show you the directory so this is the directory so this is where you're going to define the milestones so you can also put a name against the milestone that's up to you the type of task so you can uh, define various type of tasks that you normally do once and for all and enter here the email addresses of the people to whom you are going to be assigning the task. Here you will enter the project name, the name of the project and uh, email report to. So of course I think here you will have to enter the email ID of the boss, maybe your own ID, when you want to report, whether you want it on Saturday or Friday or Monday what time you want the report so this is in 24 hours so it can be uh, 17 for 5 pm 18 for 6 pm and uh, again so on and so forth in case you want that uh, the emails reminder emails and the report emails to be cc'd or bcc to everyone so you can enter the id of the maybe the project manager here so you can also bcc it and multiple ids can be separated by commas and this is the time for the daily report. So I've put it as 9, but you can also put it as 8 for 8 a.m. or 7 for 7 a.m. or 11 for 11 a.m. Don't try to put any decimals, so it's not possible to send it at 7.30 a.m. So now uh, the other important thing you need to do, again, this column you see here is automated, so please do not uh, fiddle with it. So another important part of this entire uh, this entire uh, this entire sheet is the automated updation through the Google Forms. So if you click on the form and click on go to live form, so this form that is attached with this particular Google Sheet will open. And as you can see, it contains the task ID, the details of the task, planned start date, actual start date, planned finish date, actual finish date, the completion percentage and remarks. So, uh, of course, you would be wondering that, do I have to enter all of these details? So, not required. All these details will be entered automatically. But before that happens, you need to uh, enter certain uh, form details here. So, the very first details I'm going to talk about is the complete URL of the uh, form view. So we are in the view mode right now. As you can see, uh, this is the view mode. And if I click on this, I'll go into the edit mode. So first of all, I'm going to copy this complete URL from the view form. And this goes in the directory page. It goes under the form view ID. I'm going to delete these values here. In fact, if you see here, I'm going to delete all of these values because when you have copied this form, this sheet, so the new form has been created attached to the sheet and you need to enter, remove these three fields that is G1, G5 and E5. So the very first thing is form view ID. I've also given instructions here, but what we have done here is go to form, go to live form, copy the entire URL and paste it in G5. Now the second step is to get the form edit ID and as for my instructions here, so you have to find the form edit URL and from the form edit URL, we'll have to copy the portion between forms and this D forward slash and forward slash edit. So this is what it, it, it will look like, this entire thing. So to do this, let me close these, form, edit form and I'm going to copy this portion right between D forward slash and forward slash edit. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here in E5. Next I need to get the project web URL. So since we are not wanting to provide the access of the actual sheet to everyone, we just will provide a web link so they can see the status of the project. So I'm going to click here, File, Publish to Web. And here I'm going to select the project page. And you may also get a button here, this is here, 
it would say publish so click on publish in case it is not already published so I'm going to copy this link here this is for the project page only and I'm going to paste here in G1 and now we are ready to go so I'm going to show you how this task will be updated So uh, before we proceed further, you need to activate the sheet. So from the directory page, you can see that it says no triggers active. You would find a COIT box menu button here. In case you don't find it here and you just copy the sheet, simply click on this refresh icon and you will find that this COIT box uh, menu button will appear. So now we need to click on create trigger. So this would now automate the sheet. And before everything begins, you need to provide an authorization first. I will click on continue. Select the Gmail ID. Click on advanced. Click on go to COIT box. Click on allow. This only needs to be done once. All these settings need to be done only once. And as you can see, it says that trigger has been set up to send report automatically because this is a fully automated sheet. And as you can see that this is turned green. Okay. So okay, now let me show you how uh, the reminders would go. So normally the reminders would go automatically, but just for demo sake, I'm going to do it manually. I'll click on send daily reminder. So let us check the sent items here. So as you can see, the reminder has gone out to two people. This is A and this would list all his delayed tasks. So these are all the delayed tasks for Mr. A and these are the active tasks. So these are the tasks that have not been delayed. And these are the tasks that were delayed. because the actual finish date was given here as October 28th, but this is not yet been finished. Now this person, if he wishes to update this task, he can simply click on this link, the update link given here, it doesn't need to go anywhere. As you can see, the details are already pre-entered. And now in case the task has been done, he can say yes. And this task was finished on February 17th. Task has been completed. I click on submit. Another interesting thing, so as you would see here that this task update has been captured in this form here. task has been completed and this is task ID number three and if you go to ID number three you would say here the task has been completed this has already been marked here and let me show you another interesting thing that this has been completed but completed with a delay so another thing that you would want to see here in this email a link has been provided where the person can see all the tasks in the status of the project. When we click this, so a web page has opened. This contains the entire status of the project. So he can review his tasks that are against him and see also the task of other people and look at the status of all these tasks without getting the access to the sheet. This is just a web page, but yes, it allows him to click on any URL and update that particular task that belongs to him. So this is a good tool for project management and this link can also be saved. This link can also be saved as a bookmark on the person's laptop or on his mobile phone as well. So let us talk about another type of report. So uh, we talked about the daily reminder. This is what would go out to all of these people and it has gone out 
to Mr. A, to Mr. B. And another thing that has gone out is that the moment a person updates a task, so the email will be sent to the boss containing the updated status of the task, as you can see. So you as a boss would get an update whenever the person updates the status of a task. This is done automatically. And uh, you can see this in the sheet in the update section. The send status denotes that the status update has been sent for this particular task. So this is, and again, coming to another, another report, let us also test the weekly report. I'm going to click here. So this is the report on delay tasks. So here uh, you are the boss and you're going to get a weekly report on those tasks that have been delayed. So these are the tasks that have not been completed on time. Uh, you can see the entire status. Everything is here. You can also open the sheet through this link here. So this will not open a web page, but it will open the entire sheet. So you don't have to hunt for the sheet. Now we will come to the dashboard. So you can see we have got three types of emails here. One is the daily task report for the project. We have an update report whenever a person updates a task of the project and a weekly report that will be sent out on the selected day and particular time of the week. Now we come to the task dashboard. So this dashboard is an automated dashboard. First thing that is showing is a Gantt chart containing the planned activities and a Gantt chart of the actual status. So you can compare the two. And another thing that you will see here, uh, these are the three tasks that are currently being delayed. So you can focus, you don't have to go to the, and see the all the tasks which have been completed. You only need to focus on the ones that have been delayed. So now I'm going to show you the task report. So this report will help you to view the comments for any task ID. So you just need to select the ID of the task. For example, if we select say task number seven, so you can see all the remarks that have been entered at different dates for this particular task. What was the completion percentages? What were the remarks entered at that time? So this gives you an easy way to review how the task has progressed. So you can just simply select and if you want to see all of them, just simply remove this. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching.